Once you accept your, your blindness um, or visual impairment, that everything will get much easier. And, and uh, like once you accept that and you're willing to ask for help when you need it, then you will live a much happier, happier life. Try to learn as much as you can, try to get out there. And you know, if you're just losing your sight, try to take the time to cope with that and you know, find people who are gonna be supportive and they're gonna be a, a resource to you. And that's the best way to do it. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. And today for the blind and visually impaired YouTuber, um, spotlight we have Marissa and her husband Alex from the channel living it up blind so welcome them hi Marissa hi Alex how are you guys Good. hello we're doing well that's awesome so tell us a little bit about yourselves and your channel so my name I guess I'll start mm -hmm. my name is Marissa like Carrie mentioned and um, I am 26 years old I currently go to school uh, and uh, we currently live in Santa Rosa, California. Yeah, and my name is Alex and I'm also in school right now. And actually the channel was mostly uh, Marissa's channel, but then, you know, I started to appear on it. So then, you know, I became part of it too. So here we are. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so what made you start the channel, Marissa? Um, so I want to be a teacher for the visually impaired in the future and I just, I don't know, I just find it very important to um, encourage other blind and visually impaired people to, to live their life as normally as they can and to go out there and, you know, just get things done. And that's why I decided to make the channel just uh, showing like my life with a visual impairment and also to teach or to spread awareness about blindness to sighted people. I thought that was very important as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I applaud you for going and, um, you know, going to school to be a TVI. We definitely have a shortage of TVIs. And so it's awesome to see you go after that. So that kudos to you for that. That's awesome. And so tell us a little bit about like, what your goal for your YouTube channel is. What would you want to see in the future with your channel and everything? Um, you know, that's that's very interesting. Um, I kind of take it day by day. I haven't really, as weird as it sounds, like have like a goal, I guess. M maybe just um, having more blind and visually impaired people come across it. Because that, that ultimately that is what I want is to, to help other um, blind and VI people to, to, to do what they want to do, you know, and have an example. That's really cool. And what's your favorite type of video that you make? Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> so I like, uh, I recently did um, a day in my uh, life vlog series. And I really enjoyed the whole vlog scene and taking uh, my viewers around with me and showing how Alex and I live our, our, our daily life. So I think that was I think that was a lot of fun. What did you say? Oh yeah, I like that one a lot too. Yeah, it was just like kind of freestyle, you know, out there kind of recording different little bits of what we do, um, especially under quarantine currently. Uh, so you know, a bit of a different. Uh, lifestyle we've had to embrace here so it's it's fun keeps us entertained yeah absolutely that's quarantine life for you and so like me and Pablo you guys are both visually impaired right mm -hmm. yes so could you tell us a little bit about you know each of your visual impairments uh, yeah uh, mind uh, I you know I was I could pretty much see up until the eight, uh, like my teenage years where I started to lose most of my sight. And then now it's pretty much to where it's, yeah, I, I have no usable sight if you want to look at it that way, but I still, I can see some light and stuff like that, but you know, I, you have to use a cane, you know, use a screen reader, all of that. So not, not very much. Gotcha. And what about you, Marissa? Yeah, uh, so I have uh, retinitis pigmentosa. It's a degenerative uh, eye condition that affects the retina. 
And I have a little more sight than Alex does. I can see um, on a good day, I can see uh, the people's outlines, you know, the, the outlines of people, you know, I can't see the, the, the color of their eyes or any uh, details like that, but I can still see um, print if I'm using a CCTV. I can see that and um, it, it has to be very close for sure. Gotcha. So do you tend to use a screen reader more or screen magnification? Definitely a screen reader more, uh, JAWS, voiceover. And I, I no longer use a cane, but I do, use, I do have a guide dog. So, Where did you get your guide dog? <laughs> uh, I got him from uh, GDB, Guide Dogs for oh, the Blind. Okay, yeah. Oh. That, I think that's where my dad got his first guide dog. And then his second one was at the Seeing Eye. So I know that you've um, done a, a few videos on your guide dog. And especially I remember one about um, your experience with Uber and your guide dog. <laughs> so could you share a little bit of like, how do you think having a guide dog affects that kind of thing? Oh, well, it, it has its <laughs> definitely has its pros and its cons. <laughs> one of them being, uh, yeah, the whole ride share situation. Um, not a lot of people are aware that there's, you know, it's, it's kind of, they're supposed to be uh, taking us with a guide dog. And because mine is extra fluffy, oof, it has really become a problem. <laughs> like that one video that I, that I made, what did you say? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's only one of the videos we were able to capture in its uh, entirety. But uh, we've had other run-ins with Uber drivers where, I mean, Marissa's more to relax, but, you know, I, I'm not going to let that go so we get into it. But unfortunately, we've never caught those. But, um, but yeah, it, it's been a, a ride for sure. But we have good and bad experiences, but, you know. Unfortunately, more. So, so it feels like more bad. <laughs> sometimes it feels like it never stops. Wow. Yeah, I can understand the frustration about that. So with you, Marissa and Alex, both being visually impaired, like me and my husband, Pablo, do you guys think that it's harder or it's the same? Or is it easier with, you know, being a couple that's both visually impaired? I think, I think it's easier. Honestly, we help each other out where we, we make a good team. Um, and I, I, I really like it. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always uh, easier to go about the world when, uh, when you have somebody who kind of understands the struggle and knows how to work with you around with those things. And, you know, uh, and it also depends, you know, if you make a good team. If, so with, with her, and we make a great team. And I think we, we you know, it's, it's much easier, at least for me. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. And we encourage each other all the time. So it works out. Yeah, I love that. I totally agree about that. But you know, sometimes um, some people think that it's harder because like they're so accustomed, I think, to people helping them out. Me and Pablo did a video a while back about being a blind couple and like I got comments about like, oh, well, I don't know if I would want to have a boyfriend or girlfriend that's also blind like me because I would feel less independent. What do you think about somebody who says that like what would you say to a blind person in response mm -hmm. to something like that oh you know it's i think it's all about you know how you get with that person like if if a blind person gets with a sighted person and uh, because they think that they're going to be helped then you know it's probably not a good idea but if if your sighted partner helps you with certain things but you still have your independence and I think you know it, it obviously we you know I get help all the time from people out in the public or other side of people so it, you know it's not a problem to get help but if I'm gonna be a blind person and date somebody cited because of convenience, of convenience then you know I think uh, it, it's probably not a good idea <laughs> yeah I totally agree yeah, I agree too. And so which brings me to like my follow up and wrap up question. And I want both of you guys to answer this. What's one piece of advice or encouragement you would give somebody who's blind or visually impaired? I want to say that um, once you accept your, your, your disability, once you accept your, your blindness um, or visual impairment, that everything will get much easier. And, and uh, like once 
you accept that and you're willing to ask for help when you need it, then you will live a much happier, happier life. I, you know, it's, it's hard to pinpoint one thing that you would want to <laughs> get despite, but I mean, be open to things, you know, try to learn as much as you can, try to get out there. And, you know, if you're just losing your sight, try to take the time to cope with that and, you know, find people who are going to be supportive and they're going to be a, a resource to you. And that's the best way to do it. Thank you to both of you for coming on here. Thank you. And if you guys want to check out their channel, which you definitely should, um, you can subscribe right up here. Click on this and you can check out their channel. And if you want to watch the rest of the blind and visually impaired YouTuber spotlight, you can click or tap right here. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one.